What's up guys, Rob Sambles here. So it's Wednesday morning, uh, Wednesday the 4th of October, I think it is, and I need to do my new video for the channel. So I've been thinking about what I could do. Um, a couple of different ideas, I could do my video about how I work with two camera bodies. Um, I could do my video about what's in my bag for a football game and what I take to shoot football. Uh, I could do another kind of blog video, but I wouldn't better film that today. I'd have to film that at the weekend when I shoot my next event, which is a football game. So, having to think about what to do, I could also do my more in-depth video around a photo mechanic and how that works. In fact, guys, whichever video I end up doing today, um, comment in the box, let me know which of those other things I just mentioned that you'd like to see soon, and I can make that my next video after this one. Uh, but I think for today, um, I'm going to have to decide what I want, something I can just shoot in the house really today, so I can get it done for you guys and get it up on the channel, rather than something I need to get out and about. Uh, I say out and about right now, I'm actually out and about, I'm in the middle of a basketball court right now, I'm actually out here doing a little bit of exercise this morning, I need it, just trying to get myself a bit more healthy. Now obviously by the time you guys see this video, you're going to see in the title what it is, so I've already decided what I'm going to do by that stage, but hopefully you enjoy it. But before then guys, let me just say, don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already subscribed. Loads more videos like this on my channel, loads more to come. Uh, hopefully if you enjoy this, you'll enjoy all the others too, so hit that subscribe button. If you are already a subscriber, thank you very much, but make sure you hit that notification button down the bottom there, it's the bell next to the subscribe button. That will let you know every time I upload something new. Don't forget, you can also follow me on my social media channels, guys. I'm on Twitter, I'm on Instagram. I'm going to put those on the screen right here for you guys now. The top one is a Twitter and also Instagram account, and the bottom one is just a basketball Instagram account. So make sure you follow those long guys. I'm sitting on a table tennis table right now. I actually shot some table tennis this week on Saturday. It's a funny one to shoot, guys. Tough sport to shoot, but it was cool nonetheless. It was good to shoot something new. But right now, guys, I've got to get some more exercise in, got to get fit, trying to get a bit healthier. I'll see you guys back at the house. Let's go. Hey, guys. So, I'm back home. It's actually the evening now. I filmed that first bit this morning. <laughs> now it's the evening. Um, I'm trying to do a bit more exercise, trying to get a bit fit. Um, you guys have seen my videos, you can tell I'm not the most in shape right now. I'm trying to do a bit more exercise, a bit more cardio in the mornings, which is what I did this morning, that's what you guys saw. Trying to eat a little bit better. Um, just trying to get a bit more healthy, so nothing to do with photography, but I thought I'd start to include a little bit more about myself in these videos. Um, you know, hopefully you guys will find some of that interesting. So what I decided to do in the end, I'm going to start a series today. It's Wednesday, Winning Wednesday, Winner's Wednesday. That's what they were going to call it, Winner's Wednesday. Um, and I thought I would just take each opportunity, I'll try and do this every Wednesday, just to spend probably two minutes on a question that I get asked all the time. Today's question is about this little beauty right here, one of my favorite lenses, my 70 to 200 f2.8. Um, this is the IS version, the stabilizer, not the Mark II. Guys, this is the Mark I, not the Mark II. And people always ask me, can you shoot football using just this lens? Do you have to have a 300 mil? Can you shoot football with just this lens? Let's go through it. I'm going to start the two minute timer now um, and I will see how we see how we go. Hopefully I can get it in two minutes. So the very simple answer is, guys, is yes, you absolutely can. I, in fact, in one of my more recent videos, guys, go check it out. My, I can't think what I called it, behind the scenes shooting football, sports photography. Go check it out. I shot the majority of the game with just this 70 to 200. That was through choice. It was raining. I didn't want to do with two ta two camera bodies. Now, if you're in a position where you have to shoot a game with just a 70 to 200 mil, the trouble is you probably won't be able to see down the far end of the football field. You're probably only going to be able to get one half. So with that in mind, you want to sit on the end line. And in fact, I'm going to flash up a little diagram right now with like a spot of where I would say is the perfect place to sit if you were just using a 70 to 200 mil. There it is guys, that's the spot. The reason why is because using that spot you can get the goalkeeper and you can get goal mouth action. You can get players coming towards you. You'll be able to reach to about the halfway line. If you're sitting on the same side as the benches, you'll be able to reach seat the manager and the bench that's nearest your end of the pitch. If you stay there for the whole game, you're gonna get both teams. You'll get one team coming your way the first half and the other team coming your way the second half. 
if you're just shooting one team like I often am um, when I'm there I'm covering one team so you swap ends and you get the same team coming towards you if you're gonna do that swap ends and sit the other side of the goal because then you get you know the right wingers and the players on the right coming at you the first half you sit on the left you get the players coming the um, the left hand wing coming at you the second half f2.8 is plenty fast enough to shoot in the dark if you've only got the f4 don't worry you can still do it you might struggle under the floodlights but then you can shoot football during the day i try to shoot most of my football during the day anyway because it's nicer um fits in a bit more with my work schedule too so there you go guys can you shoot a 70 can you use a 70 to 200 to shoot a football game without a 300 mil yes you absolutely can if you've only got the money to buy one camera lens for sports you start with this one because this will see you through for ages before you need a 300 or 400 mil guys thank you for watching the video if you found it useful please do hit that thumbs up give me the like guys it means so much more to me than you probably realize shorter video than normal today i'm going to try and do this every wednesday put in the comments what questions would you like me to answer guys i'm going to have two minutes to answer a question i'll put one every week what questions do you want me to answer? Stick it in the comments, let me know, and maybe you will be the winner on next Winner's Wednesday. Guys, thanks for watching. See you on the next one.